Hey everyone, this is Judy with Back to School and Beyond, hacks that changed my life in school and got carried through to my working life to make things super easy to manage. I use wet erase markers on overexposed Instax photos to write down reoccurring plans and stick them on my whiteboard. The faded images give me plenty of writing space while making it look kind of artsy. At the same time, I'm not just throwing out photos that didn't turn out the way I wanted them to, but most importantly, it serves as a reminder for me of where I need to be and when. You can use it for yoga like me, study groups, exercise classes, club meetings, etc. If you don't have Instax, post-it notes work just fine. The hack after all is just to remember where you need to be and when. If you don't want to waste post-its, which become less sticky over time, let's look at the next hack. I'm a bit obsessed with whiteboards. I have one propped up and also converted my desk to a whiteboard. I simply use large panes of glass placed flat on my tabletop and or anchored to the wall. I love glass, but you can use plexiglass or even acetate if you have. I chose glass because when you clean it, it doesn't leave shadows. I use them for planning YouTubes, posting schedules, jotting things down before I forget them, and etc. If you're converting your desk to a whiteboard, I would recommend wet erase markers because they won't rub off without water. Wet erase also gives you clearer writing. This is the brand that I use, Stadler Lumo Colors. And if you're wondering why the hell I write everything down when we live in the digital age, that brings us to hack number three. Studies suggest that students who handwrite notes in lectures have better memory of the material than students who type. Number four, when you find out an important date, write it in your planner or put it in your digital calendar right away. So I wrote down when to change my toothbrush, change my water filters, etc. on November 1st, and once I've completed the task for that day, I immediately flip to three months later and write it down again. You can do this for laundry, bills, exam schedules, whatever. Here I have my collection of passwords. You can do this for contact info or other things that are found easiest when alphabetized. I stamp the alphabet on the side of my paper, then I color coded washi tape on the edge to find things quicker. So for example, let's find my iTunes password. Locate the I, match it to the same color on the side, flip to that page, and there's my fake iTunes login. And whenever you create a new account that starts with I, just update the page. My next tip has to do with writing in binders. I don't know about you, but I hate writing on the left side because my hand always bumps into the rings. I modified the pages so that I can pull them out, write on them, and put them back in. You basically cut slits in the holes and tear out pages from top to bottom, similar to what you see in the disc bound systems like the Happy Planner. If you tug on the pages straight out, they will be secure and adding more effort would ruin your paper. So tear the paper out from top to bottom. Here's what a hole looks like up close without that distracting pattern. I'm not totally analog though. I use text for placement all the time. You can set abbreviations to text out words and sentences for you. Access this on your iPhone through settings, general, keyboard, and text replacement. On the left side is what I type in, on the right side is what the iPhone ends up texting people. As you can see, I covered up some of that private information because I don't necessarily want you to know. But I included stuff that's really annoying to type, for example if you have to switch to a numeric keyboard or use special symbols. Since I won't remember all the shortcuts, I set it as my iPhone wallpaper, which is my next hack for remembering stuff. You can even take a picture of your schedule and use that to remember where to go and when. My last, most often used tool is the SwiftKey app. Just download it to your phone, open it up, and install it. Suddenly, you have access to a sliding keyboard, which makes texting super fast. That's all for now. Have you tried any of these hacks before? Let me know in the comments below.